Have you ever wondered what the first question was? Like, the first one ever asked? Was it, can we eat this? Or can that eat us? Or was it, where did Steve go? Whatever it was, it must have led to more questions, like, what if we grew food? Could we store food? A special shout out to the first person to ask, can I milk that? And then I guess we could move on to bigger questions, like, can we count things? Time things? What exactly is this thing? Okay, probably don't have time for that. Earhart, Jemison, Kahlo, a who led to a where that became a when, a what, and a why. Burning questions, leading questions, and questions that question. I mean, why can't we tickle ourselves? And why doesn't anyone shower anymore? I mean, really? But even when we found a world full of answers, it led to an ever-expanding universe full of new questions. Which, when you think about it, begs the question, were we ever really just looking for answers? Or were we waiting to see where a question would take us next? But I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Welcome, everyone. We're coming to you live from Search On. I hope you and your loved ones are staying safe. This is our second annual Search On, and we're excited to talk about the future of information and how we search for it. Since the beginning, people have had a natural human curiosity, and it's this never-ending search for information that leads to knowledge, creates opportunity, and drives progress. Over time, technology has played a critical role in helping us understand how to unlock that information. Now, as we look ahead, significant advances in AI are completely transforming how people connect and engage with information, and with it, changing the world for the better. Since day one, Google's mission has been to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Today, you can learn helpful new skills without formal education. Anyone can start a home business and instantly connect to billions of potential customers. And students, parents, and entrepreneurs all have the world's insights at their fingertips. We make all of this possible by helping you tap into the endless knowledge of creators, publishers, and businesses from across the web and around the world. In fact, every day, we connect people to well over 100 million different websites and millions of businesses, from large retailers to the local shops down the street. And over the past year, we've sent more traffic to the open web than any year prior. This is a trend that has continued every year since Google was first created. We're relentless in our quest to ensure that you have access to the most useful information possible. The means making Google radically more natural and intuitive, helping you unlock in more insights than ever before. Today, I'm excited to share how AI is fundamentally transforming the next generation of search experiences. We'll be showing you how we are applying our MUM technology to revolutionize the way you engage with information. Redesigning the Google search page to make it easier for you to explore information in new ways. Helping you shop with more choice than ever from merchants large and small continuing to deliver the highest quality information and new tools to evaluate the credibility of what you find online. Across all of this, one thing holds truer than ever. Open access to information empowers people and changes lives. But before we talk about how we're making information more helpful in your daily lives, let's first discuss how technology can help us tackle global challenges. In our quest to make information as useful as possible to you, 
we're able to provide insights that can even have a meaningful impact during moments of crisis. Around the world, natural disasters disrupt lives and displace communities. For example, a growing number of people worldwide have experienced firsthand the devastating impact of wildfires. Last year, we launched a wildfire boundary map in Google Search and Maps to help people in the US monitor nearby wildfires. Using satellite data and Google's advanced mapping technologies, we give people near real-time information in critical moments, like knowing where a blaze is underway so they can avoid it. Today, we're announcing a new wildfire layer overlaid directly on Google Maps so you can better visualize the location and size of major wildfires around the world, along with quick links to local resources. When available, you can also see details about the fire, such as its containment, how many acres have burned, and when all of this information was last reported. In addition to providing critical insights in times of crisis, AI is also helping communities tackle the complexities of climate change. This includes extreme temperatures, which are causing public health concerns in cities around the world. For example, did you know that street temperatures can be as much as seven degrees Fahrenheit higher in cities than in outlying areas? This can be the difference between a hot day and a dangerous one. Something as simple as planting trees can help lower street temperatures and improve quality of life. Yet many cities don't have the resources or data to understand where to plant new trees. That's why we launched Tree Canopy Insights. We use aerial imagery, public data, and specialized tree detection AI to give cities insight on where they could plant more trees to tackle these challenges. Tree Canopy Insights is already in 15 US cities, and we're expanding it to 100 more in the coming months. We also plan to scale it worldwide next year as part of our commitment to help more places respond to climate change. These innovations are a few of the ways we're using technology to unlock new insights to help address challenges that affect people around the world. Whether it's tracking nearby wildfires, or advising local cities on where to plant trees. But we're also using AI to help you find answers to your everyday questions and even decide what to search for next. In fact, my team and I spend a great deal of time working to provide high quality answers to questions that haven't even been asked yet. To share an update on how we've applied MUM to these challenges, here's Pandu. Thanks, Prabhakar. As Prabhakar said, our investments in AI help us deeply understand information, not just text on web pages, but in the real world around us. People rely on language, images, videos, and context to make sense of information. But this is a huge challenge for computers. Of course, AI models today can know a lot of things, like this is a description of a lion. This is a photo of a lion. And this is the sound a lion makes. But to really grasp what a lion is, you need to understand the relationship between all of this information and then some. Like the notion that while a lion is a cat, that doesn't make it a good pet. <laughs> and that's what makes mum revolutionary. It's one of our first AI models that is truly multimodal, which means it can simultaneously understand information across a wide range of formats, like text, images, and video. Mum can also draw implicit connections between concepts, topics, and ideas about the world around us. When you put these two things together, you can build some pretty remarkable experiences. 
So let's take a look at how we're experimenting with MUM so that you'll be able to search in entirely new ways in the future. Say I really like the pattern on this shirt that my colleague Matthias is wearing in this photo. While it looks great on him, I'm not sure it would, uh, that, it, that it would go on me. I think for me, a bold pattern like this would be much better on socks. Now it would be difficult to describe this exact pattern in a search box. Uh, I could try white Victorian floral socks, but that might not be how others describe this pattern. With Google Lens, you can already search what you see uh, with your camera or a picture. With this upcoming multimodal update, Google Lens will, can now combine visual and text input to understand exactly what you want. In the coming months, when I take a screenshot of this shirt and ask for socks with this pattern, I'll get recommendations for stores from local shops to large chains that carry similar looking socks along with other related content from across the web. Let's see this in action with a live demo. Always a risky proposition. <laughs> so let's uh, start by firing up Lens and you can see I have a, a saved screenshot of Matthias in his shirt. Lens does its thing by showing me shirts like Matthias' shirt from around the web. And then I provided additional information about what I actually want, which is socks with this pattern. And ta-da! You can see that uh, Lens found me uh, socks from around the web with a pattern like Matthias's. Um, and uh, uh, you, you can go to any of those stores and buy them for yourselves. And in fact, uh, that's exactly what I've done here <laughs> uh, uh, for, the, for the occasion. So that was pretty cool. But what happens if I have a question uh, that's more complex? Like when my bicycle stops shifting gears, I can see something is off with the mechanism at the back. But I don't have the words to describe the situation. Calling the mechanism the gear thingamajig just might not work. Soon you'll be able to point your camera and ask Google, how do I fix this? We'll show you everything you need to get your bike back on the trail. Mum's advanced multimodal understanding can simultaneously identify the part in the image based on similar images from across the web and also understand the intent behind your question to help you solve it. Uh, let's see this in action. So, um, let's see. So here we are with Lens again. This time I'm gonna open up the camera and come and take a picture of this rear mechanism. Lens again finds me images from across the web, uh, uh, similar images, and now I can uh, type what I actually want, which is how to fix. And there you go. Uh, in this case, Google could tell it's a problem with the derailleur. So, oh, that's what it's called. <laughs> uh, it can then point you to helpful information on how to fix it from a variety of videos, blogs, forums, and websites. <laughs> now, MUM is one of the first AI models that's able to solve these types of complex multimodal questions. We're actively testing new capabilities like this and look forward to bringing them to life next year. Now you might be asking, why can't I try MUM in Lens today if it's already working in these demos? Part of the reason is that we still have some work left to do. But really, it's because rigorous testing and evaluation is a crucial part of every new AI model that we deploy and every feature we launch. We look for quality gains and losses and examine the impact on both a broad set of queries and specialized slices 
to seek out any concerning patterns. Only after we've thoroughly analyzed the impact do we make the change. These promising advances in AI will dramatically improve our ability to understand information and revolutionize the way people search in the future. Next, we'll take a look at how this is coming to life right in Google search. Picture this. You've been spending a lot of time at home lately, and that broken bathroom tile is about to break you. So you go to Google. This isn't a one answer, renovates all situation. You've got questions. Like, what is a pedestal sink? Where can I buy mermaid tiles? Design tips for a small space. Shower or tub? What's grout? Do I need grout? How do I get grout out of my hair? In the end, what makes Google helpful is that it helps you explore complex topics. Like, what are the most relaxing scented candles for a soak in my freshly grouted corner tub? Ah, oh, finally. Many of the things we come to search for don't have a single answer. In fact, behind every query, there are so many questions. Like when you're planning a road trip, do you need to tune up your car before you go? How far ahead do you need to book campsites? And what are some tips to packing light? Or if you're trying to pick a major in college, what do you need to know? How do you choose what's right for you? And what could help you land your dream job? One way to figure these things out would be to ask someone you know who can share their experience. But what if you just don't know anyone you can turn to? With advancements like MUM, we're helping you more easily tap into the wisdom of the world, from everyday people to content creators to experts in their field. And today, I'm so excited to show you how we're redesigning Google Search to help you explore the many questions behind your queries in more intuitive ways. Whether you want to wrap your head around something new or you're browsing for visual inspiration. So let's take a look. Lately, I've been thinking about doing a fall craft project with my kids. I'm intrigued by videos of art made with acrylic paints. And I've been wondering, could we actually make something like that? Where do we even start? Now, learning about acrylic painting may seem pretty simple. But actually, people explore over 350 different subtopics about it on Google. That's a lot. The first update we'll add to the redesigned search page in the coming months is Things to Know, an overview of different ways to explore a topic so you can quickly find what's best for you. So if you're a beginner searching for acrylic painting, you'll see the step-by-step -step instructions and what materials you'd need. Or if you're a more experienced artist, you can get inspired with new techniques to try. In the future, by applying deeper information understanding with MUM, Google can help you discover new insights. For example, you can make acrylic paintings with things you can find around your house. Finally, something to do with all those old kitchen sponges. <laughs> the second update is making it easier to refine or broaden your search, which helps you uncover new and exciting angles along the way. As you explore acrylic painting, you'll be able to zoom in with refine the search and dive into specific techniques, like puddle pouring, which sounds messy, but really, really cool. You can also zoom out with Broaden This Search to help you see more related topics, like other ways to paint or famous painters. These new features are only possible thanks to Google's advanced topic understanding. Now you can follow your curiosity wherever it takes you and discover creators and publishers along the way that you didn't even know existed. So we just talked about how we're helping you explore new topics more intuitively on Google. But sometimes you just don't know what you want until you see it. That's why our third update makes it easy to browse the search page for more visual inspiration. Let's say you're looking for the perfect puddle pouring design that's straightforward to make, but exciting enough to earn that spot in your living room. With this new improvement, we're transforming the search page into an endless stream of visual ideas. Now, you can visually browse the full range of images, articles, and videos from across the web to find the right design just for you. You can try this out today by searching for all kinds of different ideas on your phone, things as different as Halloween decor to vertical gardening. When it comes to exploring a new topic, another way to visually understand information is by watching videos. 
people around the world are creating and watching content about nearly every topic imaginable. With Google's deep understanding, we can help you get even more insight and inspiration from the videos you watch. We already pinpoint the key moments in video so you can find the content you're interested in. And with our fourth improvement to search, called Related Topics, we're making it even easier to explore information videos. Let's take a look at this new experience with my favorite flightless bird, the macaroni penguin, <laughs> which combines my love of penguins and pasta. When I search for macaroni penguins and tap into a video like this one, I'm hooked. As I watch and discover more about these adorable birds, I just want to learn more. With this new feature, you'll see a list of topics in the video. And since we're applying MUM, we can identify what's referenced in the video, even if it's not explicitly mentioned by name. For instance, the words macaroni penguin's life story, they aren't said anywhere in this video, nor are they written in the video's description. But the video contains information about the daily trials and tribulations of being a macaroni penguin like having to dodge those hungry seals or find their family amongst hundreds of other penguins. Only our advanced topic understanding with MUM can figure out that these details make up the life story of this amazing animal. Now, the things you want to know more about are just a tap away. This experience is rolling out for YouTube videos on search in the coming weeks, and we're exploring ways for creators and publishers to opt in down the road. All of these improvements are just a glimpse into how we're redesigning search for the future to help you explore the questions behind all your queries in more intuitive and visual ways. This is especially valuable when you're looking to discover the right products for you. Up next, we'll share how we're reimagining the shopping experience on Google. The year is 1993, and legend has it that one of the first e-commerce purchases is about to take place, a pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and extra cheese. Turns out that craving for extra mozzarella mushrooms was just a precursor to the complex choices we make when we buy online today. When we go online to buy a hat, we don't just want any hat. We want the hat, 2021's hottest hat, the best hat for small heads, the perfect size, shape, and color, the hat that will finally make you into a hat person. Now it's time to make the call on a cravat. Cravat? Cravat. Am I saying that right? Not long ago, it would have seemed odd to buy sneakers or glasses without trying them on first. These days, we research and buy all kinds of things online. For example, as I've gone through a home renovation in the past month, I bought a dog bed for Pearl, a stand-up desk, and even our sofa online. The web has given us an endless sea of options to choose from. All of this choice is empowering, but it's hard to know where to start. That's why we've been relentlessly focused on organizing all of these options and making it easier to find exactly what you're looking for. Today, I'm excited to share new ways to shop with Google in moments of inspiration, exploration, or when you're ready to make a purchase. Let's start with inspiration, which can strike in the most unexpected moments. Sometimes you'll stumble upon that perfect find, like seeing an awesome design on the base of a snowboard, but you can't figure out where to get it. To make it easier to shop at the moment of inspiration, we're making the products you see online instantly shoppable with Google Lens. Say you're redecorating, and are browsing apartment therapy for ideas. Soon, you'll see a new button in the Google app on your iPhone to make all images on the page instantly searchable. So find this lamp, or that chair, or ones like it, takes just one tap. There's no need to leave the website you're on. This is powered by a new machine learning model that uses on-device processing to recognize products in as little as 200 milliseconds. That's literally less than the blink of an eye. And to help you in all the places you shop, we're also bringing Lens to Chrome on your computer in the coming months. Just select part of the page you're browsing to quickly see search results right alongside. Now, if you're like me, most of the time when you're shopping, you have a vague idea of what you want, but don't have an exact product or brand in mind. 
That's why we're making it easier to window shop from all of your favorite brands and retailers right from your search results. For example, I want some new hoodies, even though my kids say, I'm not cool enough to wear them. <laughs> when I search for men's sweatshirts, I can now explore a visual feed of shoppable options from well-known labels, local shops, fresh new brands, and everything in between. As I'm browsing through many colors and styles, I'll also see recommendations from lifestyle magazines, blogs, video reviews, and more. And when I find something I like, I can click to check out more reviews and ratings and even compare prices to get the best deal. This is powered by Google Shopping Graph, our comprehensive data set of over 24 billion product offers from millions of merchants of all sizes, both online and off. We're increasing your choices as a shopper and helping millions of merchants and brands get discovered during the more than 1 billion times a day people shop on Google. When you've explored your options and are ready to make a purchase, sometimes you'll want to see your choice in person or simply can't wait for it to be delivered. That's why we've been working on new ways to help you see what products are in stores nearby. Say you need a kid's bike helmet for your family's afternoon ride. Now you can select the in-stock filter to quickly find local stores with kids' helmets available. This is rolling out in the U.S. and 14 more countries starting today. And if you're looking to check out more of what's on the store shelves, you can browse their inventory before heading out. Showing in-store availability is especially valuable for small businesses. It helps them attract new customers who end up discovering a broader range of what they offer. Let's take a look at how a local toy store used Google to showcase their products. Um, this one's Ben. It's a Squishville. They're tiny. Bab the Bluebird. I've been trying to get Babs. Tank. Tank the Hammerhead Shark. A squish hunt is when people will go around to the stores that they know carry squishmallows and they spend lots of time in the aisles looking for particular ones. It became a thing amongst the kids and now they, they search for them and they know when they're gonna be and where. We used to drive around everywhere and now I just go to Google and search for it. With Google search results, it shows that we most likely have their favorite in stock. We create a new SKU in our system. We enter the name and the size, um, so 12-inch Charlie. And Google search results show that Holly Pops has that product. Now I can see all of the, the different Squishmallows that you know they have in stock. It's very easy. This system is great. It will allow us to enter anything and be searchable. It put me on the map. It, it caused me to be profitable for our small business competing against all the other big box stores around. They can now find me and get their favorite Squishmallow. From toys to school supplies to backyard barbecue gear, Google can help you quickly find whatever you need from stores nearby. Billions of people come to Google every day to shop, explore, and learn from the rich information available on the web and in the world around us. As they search, it's critical that they're able to find information that's reliable while staying safe online. Let's take a look at how Google Search continues to deliver high quality information. Is it true that has long been a popular search term on Google? with common questions including, is it true that you can't sleep if someone is thinking about you? And is it true that spiders crawl into your mouth at night? In 2020, is it true that hit an all time high? But the truth is not everything is so clear cut. For many topics, there's not just a single source of truth. So you may wanna know where it came from, what others are saying, and how to find information you can trust because it's worth checking your sources before you book that trip to Italy to swim with the dolphins in the Venice canals. Wait, that can't be right. Whether you're looking for facts about the COVID vaccine, 
or for financial information, like how to apply for a loan. Having access to information that is both relevant and credible is crucial to our daily lives. People turn to search engines to find information they can trust. And delivering high quality results is what has always set Google apart. But we all understand that misinformation is a growing challenge in our society. In the face of this challenge, we have a steadfast commitment to deliver the most reliable, fresh, and helpful information available. We believe reliability starts from the ground up, so we've always designed our ranking systems to prioritize high quality content. For critical topics like health, we elevate information from expert sources, like local authorities, to make sure it's easy for people to find content they can trust. We also know that people don't just want quick facts. For many topics, they want to really understand the information that's out there. Google Search is already a powerful tool to help people check the facts and dig deeper. And to make it easier for you to evaluate the credibility of information, we're continuing to invest in more information literacy features based on research and best practices from experts. Let's take a look at some of the ways we're doing this. Earlier this year, we launched a feature called About This Result, which makes it easier to check the source right on the results page. By simply tapping the three dots on any search result, you can find helpful context before you even visit a web page, like a description of the site and whether your connection to it is secure. Since launch, people have used about this result more than 400 million times. And now, we're adding even more context to about this result with insights that can help you better evaluate and understand the sources of information you find. Insights like what the site says about itself, what others are saying about the site, a link to top news coverage, and related results about the topic. And by the way, if certain information for a website is missing, we'll highlight that too. This expansion of About This Result is rolling out in the coming weeks in English in the United States. This is just the latest way we're providing important context right on search, from making it easy to spot fact check articles, to offering full coverage for developing news stories, and even showing content advisories when results are rapidly changing. We're committed to helping people identify high quality information and critically evaluate what they find online. We are also working to keep you safe and secure as you search. We have a responsibility to protect and respect your data. That's why we never sell your personal information, period. At Google, we keep more people safe online than anyone else in the world. We protect you on the web with advanced security that automatically detects and blocks threats before they even reach you. In fact, every day last year, we blocked 40 billion spammy web pages from ever reaching your search results. And we've led the industry in adopting security standards, helping to make the internet safer for everyone. We made HTTPS encryption the default for all searches and introduced it as a ranking signal for our results. This helped raise the bar on security by driving further adoption of this industry standard. Trusted and secure information is part of the promise we make to you, and we'll continue to uphold this promise as we innovate in the future. This is one of the many ways we're helping to build a better web. Another is ensuring that all information is easily accessible. Up next, we'll share more on our commitment to open access for everyone. OK, so here's the thing. No matter what you're looking for, there's a world of people on Google who can help. If you want to press flowers, Spool & Twine will help you live your best cottagecore life. When you're in need of natural tie-dye techniques, well, Honest Crafts really brings the beats. When your four-year-old nephew wants a ceiling fan birthday cake, 
a baking enthusiast by the name of Doug has a helpful tip about using dowels. He's a big dowel guy. And if it doesn't turn out quite how you'd like, well, then there's always a local bakery to save the day. Just as human curiosity will never end, our work to provide you with the most innovative products will never cease. Today, we've talked about the future of information. It's a future where you'll be able to search in entirely new and far more natural ways. This goes beyond the web to the real world. More than 15 years ago, we set an ambition to map the entire world. And we could have never imagined back then how many lives this would transform. Today, more than a billion people turn to Google Maps every month, and it plays a vital role in helping people, businesses, and communities everywhere be found. In fact, every month, we connect people with more than 120 million businesses that do not have websites by enabling phone calls, driving directions, and local foot traffic. And we made remote places more accessible even capturing the Faroe Islands with sheep view. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> On our quest to map the world, we've learned that open access to information is not universal, nor guaranteed. For example, having a physical address is a key enabler of social and economic inclusion. And yet, several billion people today don't have one making it difficult to do things like receive deliveries, open a bank account, or even apply for a job. That's why we created Plus Codes, a free and open source digital addressing system to bring internationally usable addresses to more places around the world. And over the past six years since the launch, we've seen how access to easier addressing can help uplift communities. Let's take a look. The Navajo Nation is over 27,000 square miles. But we don't have street names. It's like past this rock or the Y in a road. That's how we direct people, just using landmarks and guessing on mileage. We had had several traumatic runs where we didn't know the address, and we had not been able to get to the person in time to help save their life. Uh, had we gotten there sooner, possibly we could have saved them. The experience I had with my mom, we couldn't get an ambulance out to where we live, so my mom lost a whole hour when she had a stroke. If dispatch could just say, look at the number on the house and tell me what that number is, problem solved. I was attending a Google conference one of the presentations was plus codes. It's basically what we've been looking for, you know, something easy to use and it's available for everyone. And that's what we're giving out to the community to address them. My son put up a plus code on social media to inform people of where a ceremony is going to take place. We had people from everywhere, middle of Arizona, the other end of the reservation show up. A lot of people are entrepreneurs. They want to get businesses started, but it's really hard to get an address. I want my people to be visible. This is our home. To date, we've brought plus codes to over 20 million existing locations on Google Maps that didn't have a usable address, including schools and healthcare facilities. And today, we're proud to introduce Address Maker, a free smartphone app that helps governments and nonprofits quickly create addresses for entire towns or villages. This new tool shortens a process that used to take years down to as little as a few weeks. We recently partnered with government entities in the Gambia and Kenya. And we're also working with nonprofits in India, South Africa, and the US. We're excited to partner with more governments and organizations in the future and see how they will use this technology to create new opportunities for people. 
I hope you've seen today how information has the power to transform our lives in ways big and small. And our approach to innovation will always, always be in service of making information more useful to you. Innovations like MUM are pushing the boundaries of how helpful a search engine can be. A redesigned Google search page makes it possible to explore information in new ways. Comprehensive and intuitive shopping experiences give you more choice than ever before. And high quality information and tools like about this result empower you to make more informed choices about the content you consume. We're only scratching the surface of what's possible. Never before has access to information played such a pivotal role in society. And I hope you're inspired by the many new ways technology will unlock opportunities for people no matter who they are, what they search, or where the next question takes them. Thanks for tuning in, and search on. Top puddle pour ideas. Not even remotely an artist. <laughs> like a rain puddle? <laughs> Best men's? Hoodie tips. Oh, I'm not good with styles. Loose is good. Always black. Short drawstrings. We don't do that. How do I fix this? I... Oof. Uh... It needs wheels. And there's no handlebars. Ask someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> is there life out there? Hmm. I think all of our guesses would be wrong. What happened here could happen there. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance.